January 10th, 2024, Daily Bread. Passage, John chapter 3, verse 16 through 21. Key verse 16. Title, So Loved. For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people loved darkness instead of light, because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light, and will not come into the light, for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light, so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. Daily Bread Message Salvation is not about doing or not doing, but about believing and accepting the love of God. Jesus did not come to point out how horrible we are. On the contrary, our problem is not knowing that we are loved as we are. When we think, or are made to believe, that we are evil and unlovable, we fall into darkness and shame. We believe we are not even acceptable or loved by God. But God, despite our shame and darkness, loves us for who we are. He sent His one and only Son to demonstrate His love for us. Jesus sees through all the pain and suffering to reveal the goodness in each person and give us hope. We tend to see outward measures or failures and judge accordingly, but God sees our hearts. He sees each person as his beloved child. Jesus saw a woman who committed adultery and forgave her. Jesus even forgave those who condemned and crucified him on the cross. Jesus laid down his own life and rose again that we may have eternal life in him. Jesus' love shines the light in any darkness to bring salvation and life. Prayer Lord, I was lost in my sin and feeling of inadequacy, yet you sent Jesus to demonstrate your saving love for me and made me free and whole again. One word, you are loved by God as you are.